hello everyone welcome back to the channel today i'm going to walk you through how to create how to create react app using vit using vit yeah so whether you're a beginner or looking to brush up your skills this guide will get you up and running in no time so without further delay let's just dive right in yes so there are a few things we need to have installed or configured on our machines before we can go ahead and create a react project so the first thing first we need to make sure we install we install node node.js so this is basically going to help us um run npm commands to be able to download packages from the npm server it also helps you to run javascript on the server so we say that it is basically a runtime uh, a runtime for javascript basically so it is very important for us to have it installed yeah so i will take you right into the browser for us to see how best we can install node.js so let me just head right it right to my browser here and then when you are able to launch your browser head on to node.js.org node node.js.org like so that's the url you punch that in the address bar and then it's going to take you to the home page of node.js and then when you are here there is a link just on the landing page saying download node.js you trigger this command it is going to download node.js um, the setup file to be on your machine so you can go ahead and then install it if the download is successful so in order to verify if you have node installed you can just open your terminal you can just open your terminal when you open your terminal you go ahead and execute the command node hyphen v so if it is able to put a node version like so it means that node is installed on your computer and that is the most important thing that you need to make sure you have all right so having node installed let's go to um vit's official website so vit is more or less like a front-end tooling for um the various front-end frameworks that we have like react um, vue.js and what have you do you get it yes so that is basically that and it also helps to make your development experience very super fast and um it makes your life easier basically it makes your life easier so how are we going to use it let's say we click on get started or if you want to get the address it is basically vitjs dot vitjs dot dev vitjs dot dev so that is a web address like that so let me just go back to my browser when you click on get started it is going to give you some few instructions to read and all that you can take your time and read it but then when you come down it is going to tell you the supported template so it currently support um, vanilla javascript typescript view view typescript react react with typescript uh, pre react let civilt solid quick and all that so we are actually interested in react with vanilla javascript like that so that is what we are going to select so let's just select that Okay, so this is loading. No, this is not what we are interested in. Basically, we want to just go ahead and start using VIT. Yes. So in order to um, create your React app with VIT, when you scroll down, you're going to see this command here: npm create VIT at latest. So if you have, if you are using yarn, you switch to the yarn tab and then use this command. If you are using pnpm, then use this command. If you are using bantu use it you are going to use what this command here but then we are using node and so therefore we are going to use npm so in order to do that 
let's just go to our browser I mean go back to our terminal here and then I'm going to switch to the desktop so let me just change the directory to desktop like so and then currently my directory is pointing to the desktop then I can say that npm create space vids at latest then I'll just hit enter or the return key and yes it is asking me to install vids yes we need to accept it so just punch in y and then hit enter and now vid is installed it's asking now it's asking us to specify the name of our project so let's say um react react with vid that is the name of our project let's just hit enter now let's select a particular framework or library that we want to work with say we want react select that we don't want TypeScript for now. Let's just select normal JavaScript, this one here. Use the down arrow key and the top arrow key to navigate. Select this one. And our project is created. Let's just change our projects, I mean, our directory to the project folder. So cd react with vids, like so, and then hit enter. So when you go ahead and say dir, I'm going to see this um, files in that particular folder but it is asking us to run this command here and then when we are done we can run this one so let's go ahead and say npm install now npm is uh, how do you call it a command that is able to help you download packages from the npm server right so you are able to execute this because you have installed node.js if you don't have that installed you can't even create the project in the first place so kindly take note of that all right so we are hoping that in no time the packages that have been downloaded will finish and we can run the projects to see what we've done so far Alright, so um, how do you call it? Our node models have been downloaded, our packages have been added successfully to our project. So what I'm going to do is I want to open this project in VS Code. So I'll just I'll just type code and then space and then period, and I'll hit enter. So I expect our project to be opened in VS Code for us to use. so 
now the project is opened in VS Code we can go ahead and see how best we can um, get it up and running so I'm going to open my terminal control J or command J on Mac and I'm going to run a simple command here my terminal is still processing okay so I'm just going to run a command npm run dev and then I'll hit enter this is going to spin up a development server that we can use to test our project or our app alright so this is the URL or the link that we can use to access our project so I'll hold on the command or control key on the keyboard and then click on this link this is going to open inside the web browser and yes there you have it you've created your first react app using the vet technology so let me just trigger this thing here and you can see that it is working as intended um, better yet let's go and see if we can modify few things here so I'll go back to my ID here and say that let me open the, the sources folder and then go to the app.jsx and then let me say I want to just um, what do I want to do let me just change this title to react up with vids and then when I save and go back to the browser I'm going to see the changes reflect here like that and yes that is basically it that is basically it I can decide to get rid of all these things here and then just have just have an h1 tag returned so in the h1 tag I'll just type react up with v or you can basically say that I have a p tag say this is the app component like that now let's go back and check what we have and you can see that we have those write-ups reflected exactly in the browser and yes this is basically how to go about creating a react app with fit I hope you found this what's watching and I mean it is going to help you actually start doing so many fancy stuff with react and I can imagine the awesome apps or application you're going to build with this technology yes when it, if you found this if you like the content Go ahead and smash the like button and if you are yet to subscribe to the channel too yes kindly do a go ahead and do that it goes a long way to help the channel grow thank you for watching and i'll catch you in another one